the, the best things that happened to you, a funny thing, um, but then also uh, the favorite sermon and decision that you made this week. Uh, the theme was choose. And I can't remember the verse off the top of my head, but it really comes to choose life or choose death. And he said, and I think it's in Psalms, it says choose life. And uh, it was a great conference. They, they themed it so well. And the, the very last day, Friday morning before we left, they had, uh, Thursday night they had a practice for any teenager that wanted to sing in their teen choir. And pretty much every teenager at the conference went up there. And there was probably 150, 200 person teen choir on their auditorium singing, I choose, I can't remember, what was this? I, I choose the Lord. It was so powerful. And it was just a couple of the youth pastors really were sitting in the, audit in the audience and a couple of teenagers uh, that, that weren't singing. And I'll just tell you, man, it was, they sang it twice. And I record it if you've got a chance. Go stalk me on Facebook. It'll, it's really, it's a power, it's powerful to hear that many young people. As Pastor said earlier, you don't really see it. Uh, the second service, I don't know if he said the first service, but you don't see a lot of young people that dedicate their lives to sing Be For Christ. And going there and just hearing that, it was, it was something. And uh, it was incredible. All of our teens went up and sang too. So that was, that was something that I enjoyed. Was, I love to hear our teens sing. So, Vashti, what was your favorite sermon to get something you got from? But at the end, I chose to be a missionary for Christ. Okay. When you threw the bug in the hotel. I did not. I did not throw that bug in there. <laughs> See, parents, this is how your kids twist stories. I might have supplied the thing that held the bug, but I, in fact, did not touch the bug or throw the bug. So I'm just getting that out there for all of them. Me and JJ we were talking one night, late at night, and this huge bug, massive, I've never seen something in my life. Literally, you heard it hit the wall. That's how we knew it was coming. And JJ looked at me and he said, Do you think of what I'm thinking? I said, Yes, I am. And uh, we threw this massive bug, and we'll say that story for Talia. All right. <laughs> Savannah, what was your favorite story? Um, when they were talking about music, and I made the decision to change my music. Uh, yeah. um, seeing Mildred at Pride. <laughs> 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 we had a great time. Great time. All right. I've never been sick on a ride, but that one I was really close to. <laughs> Alright, Summer? My favorite sermon was probably the one on music, and I made a decision to change my music. And my favorite, I have two favorite parts. So, um, where Talia had a major breakdown because she thought the butt had uh, laid eggs in her hair. And <laughs> watching a video of Michael falling in the ride. So, not only did Andrea cry on the ride, obviously Michael did as well. So, it was great. Isaac? Uh, so I like this message called Buy the Field, and I made a decision to buy the field. And uh, the favorite thing was, uh, I would say the amusement park and watching Michael cry on the ride. So my favorite sermon was buying the land, or field. <laughs> and I bought the field, and my favorite part about it, the trip, was either Andre crying, <laughs> <laughs> or me being behind you guys watching. <laughs> it's great. Honestly, life changing moment. All right. Uh, so, my favorite sermon was by Pastor Trever when he said, when he was talking about the basketball and you have one shot to make it count. And my favorite part was probably the fireball and me crying and like screaming. <laughs> Show the video? We have it on for playing, right? Yeah. 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 So, my favorite sermon was the one about how you only have one shot to serve God in your life, so I chose to be with your life. And my favorite part was not the amusement part, but, <laughs> but the one ride at it was the swing, and by the time the picture was out, we were freaking out on it. So. <laughs> any ride but the Ferris wheel. I hate the Ferris wheel. And this ride, she, I'm telling you, the Ferris wheel. It's just so scary because it's so high and so slow. And uh, I'm scared of heights, but I love roller coaster. It's weird. So we're, she gets on this ride. She's terrified, screaming, crying. I said, all right, Andre, you pick the next one. Because apparently the carousel is a little too extreme for you. <laughs> and she picks the second tallest ride there and says, I want, and it's only held by chains, like a chain. And you're supposed to use, it just takes you up, it takes you swinging. And for the picture, right before we get on the ride, had to ask, 
what's the weight limit on this thing? <laughs> so then this guy pulls out this clipboard and it reads this as 340 a seat. And me and him understood it as 340 is two seats, so 340 for one seat, you know, that's for, yeah. And uh, the other guy said, oh no, it's 340 per seat. And I'm like, we didn't see a per there. But me and Pitch, Brother Pitcher rewrote that ride together. And I won't say what we were saying on there, but we're like, oh Lord, please. We couldn't scream because we just were making fun of her for screaming. So we just had to stand there and take it like a man. But uh, I should just sit there. Oh, 340 pounds. Think light thoughts. Think light thoughts. But uh, we had a blast. I want to reference Brother Brown preached a sermon on music. And uh, probably something that if, we, it was, if he'd preached that sermon in a year, it might have freaked all of us out. But what he did was, and I don't know if you know a guy named, I think it's Chad, what's his name? Chester or something, a, a guy of, from a band recently died, and uh, he was telling us, talking to us about <coughs> music, and uh, he played some different clips of music, and he went and just read some lyrics, and really it's, sometimes we, we just listen to music, we don't actually think of what was just said, and he went on, and he went off the, just the top charts of just country <coughs> music, and just read the lyrics, and to be honest with you, I read it, or when he was reading it, I was kind of like, why is he saying this in church right now? And then I was thinking about it, but yet our kids listen to it on a daily basis. And he played some of the music in church in front of 200 some odd kids. And, uh, you know, part of it, he said to me afterwards, he's like, I think some of the kids were introduced to rock music tonight. Some of them never heard it before. Where's the first time you heard rock music? In church, you know? So, but he, uh, he, he played some of the music, and, and honestly, it was uncomfortable. It really was. And, and you know, some of the kids, it's like, if it's uncomfortable in here, then why is it uncomfortable? It's, it's okay for you to listen to it at your house. And it uh, was really powerful, and uh, I, I know a lot of our kids were really encouraged and convicted by that. It was, it was a great, we had a great conference, so many stories, so many inside stories. Uh, the bug thing was not as bad as everybody's probably thinking, but Talia, <laughs> Talia did, was close to buying razors and shaving their heads. <laughs> Apparently beetles lay eggs in people's hair as soon as he touches them. So. But we had a great time. I want to thank the church so much for sending us. I appreciate you guys buying some of chocolate and uh, praying for us. I know that it's always good to have just everybody praying for us while we're gone. So uh, we had a great time. Brother Pitcher, you want to come up and say a word and lead us in a song? Mm -hmm. So, yeah. so my, I would say my, he preached, uh, Joe Brown preached the message, it was the last message preached, it was, uh, I don't know what the title was, but it was, where will you be when you come to yourself, he was talking about the prodigal son, and a uh, very, very powerful message to me personally, because I, I just recall uh, the times in my life where I came to myself, and I made decisions for the Lord, and probably one of the most powerful things uh, was to see our young people make decisions, and you know, with, uh, you know, uh, I think of Isaac, you know, he, he made a you know, couple of decisions. He grabbed me by the arm and he took the And uh, I love doing that. I, I, love, I love playing with our kids. I love seeing them make decisions. It's so that powerful to me. And then, I will say, that was the scary, bro, the scariest ride I've ever been on the swing. Yeah. I closed my eyes half the ride. Yeah. I didn't even feel like I was like this. I was so scared that I was not going to make a deep though, because Andrea was up there having fun. I don't know how. So, all right, well, without further.